Well, next up on the American Dream, we take you to a brand new market. We are so excited to have San Antonio, Texas with us on the show. And today we have a very special guest, Danny Springfield, who is a lead agent with the Springfield Group with Keller Williams Legacy. She is a platinum top 50 winner. She's also been named by the San Antonio Business Journal as one of the top residential real estate teams. And she's also an author. Danny, welcome so much to the American Dream. Thank you for having me. We're really excited to be a part of it. Great, and we're so excited to have you guys too. Such a big market um, in the U.S. to have, so we're so thankful to have San Antonio join as well. So I know the city of San Antonio is experiencing a seller's market, but transaction volume remains high. Why do you think buyers are still buying? It does. And that's a wonderful question, and people ask me that quite a bit. I think it comes down to a couple big factors. One is interest rates are still historically really low. You know, the Fed has raised interest rates six times since 2015. They've done two raises so far in 2018, and we're anticipating two more. So I think a lot of buyers are recognizing that and, and trying to beat it before rates get higher. They, they are still really low, though. San Antonio also has, it's a very affordable town real estate wise, but our rental market is very strong. So I think buyers today are savvy. They have a lot of resources available to them. And I think they're really able to make educated decisions. They see what rents are versus how much it would cost to buy a home. And even those who feel like, because property values are so strong, even if they feel like maybe they're paying $10,000 more for a house than they would have had to a year or two ago. When you look at the cost of renting and how much money you'd just be spending every month with no return on that investment, I think it makes a lot of sense to a lot of them. Are there any strategies for buyers in a seller's market? There are. Um, one is location. So, so Texas has no shortage of land. San Antonio is spreading. And if you're wanting to be in a north central location at our, our average price points around 250,000, at that price point, you're going to experience a lot of competition and a definite seller's market. But if you have some flexibility in location and you're willing to go in the areas that are being very actively newly developed, especially where there's a lot of new construction activity. If you look at the Cibolo area on the northeast part of town, or what we call Northwest San Antonio, but really isn't, down off Calabria and Petrenko, or even out the I-10 corridor towards Bernie, there are so many new construction builders and new developments happening. So the scenario that you see as a buyer is the Builders are competing against each other with incentives, and then you've got resale sellers also that are competing with that. There's a, a really ripe opportunity there for a savvy buyer. Yeah, what about buying new construction? You know, would you maybe push somebody in that direction if that was right for them? Sometimes it's a great fit, particularly in a seller's market and particularly in those areas I just mentioned. And the reason being is if you walk into a, a builder and you want to pick your lot and your floor plan and all of your selections and build from the ground, you're 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 going to pay what they're going to ask you to pay. There's not going to be a lot of flexibility in that. And a lot of people are willing to do that because building your own home, it, I think it's one of the top American dreams. But if you have a little more, um, let's say, open-mindedness when you approach that situation and you're able to walk in and pick up an inventory home, let's say a home that a builder built for a particular client, but the transaction didn't go through for whatever reason, or some builders in town will just keep inventory on deck. Um, we have a lot of military buyers here who need to move very quickly. If you're willing to go in and get one of those, especially if it's been on the market a while, you can do very well for yourself. I had a client in the last couple of weeks get a deal that I didn't think still existed. There's nothing wrong with the house. Um, I think everybody else in the neighborhood just wanted to build their own. Okay. Well, you know, I love how you mentioned, too, that San Antonio is expanding, it's growing, getting into to new places. Uh, Texas has no short of land. So it must be really exciting, too, as a buyer to be able to kind of be on the forefront of that, kind of, you know, pick a place that's close by to San Antonio that's growing and call a new home their home, I would think. 
I think it really is. We have a lot of relocation, whether it's out of state, out of the city, out of the country, particularly with our military community, particular, particularly being a um, secondary education hub. And we have several corporate campuses that have landed here in recent years. So it's really fun working with a buyer from California or Florida or wherever they may be and helping them hone in on what part of town is going to be the best fit for them. Interestingly enough, in San Antonio, we have a downtown urban thriving area that feels like a lot of other big cities. That's new for us, very new for San Antonio. But we also have Bernie and Holotas and areas that are small town feel where you can get a house on land and have horses or what, whatever it is that you're looking for. There's a lot to choose from here. Yeah, I like that. You guys have options. That's really special. Yeah. Before we let you go, Danny, I know that you have a book. You are an author called San Antonio Real Estate. Can you just give a little description of that or, or tell us about the, the journey through writing that? Absolutely. So as a, an experienced agent, there are some questions that come up very, very often from buyers and from sellers. And so I thought, well, why don't I put this in a book and share it with people who maybe are thinking about buying or selling, whether it's today or tomorrow or in a few years. Um, I think people like resources, particularly today, and they like to be educated. So I thought I'd put that together. This is what the book looks like, San Antonio Real Estate. It's full of tips for buyers or sellers. And we're giving away a free copy to celebrate the American Dreams expansion into San Antonio. So you can sign up for one at SanAntonioRealEstateReport.com, and I'll put one in the mail to you. Amazing, Danny! Thank you so much. I look forward to reading that. All our viewers, uh, since San Antonio's new to the American Dream, should definitely pick up a copy of that. Thank you so much for not only taking the time to obviously write that, but to share it to all our viewers and just share your insight. We're so excited, like I said, to have you guys on the program and have San Antonio a part of the fabric here at the American Dream. Well, thank you. It's, it's a lot of fun. All right. We'll see you soon. Thanks, Danny. Bye-bye. And you're watching The American Dream. Stick around. We'll be right back.